Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Company Rose 2 replay, straight from the Live Games Lobby. Spawn on the left side as the Blue British, we have Kura Moore. Spawn as the Soviet Ally, we have Machete. Spawn on the right side as the Magenta Wehrmacht players, we have Rikashin? Rikashin? I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Rikushin? Field recovery teams are ready to salvage vehicles. Nope, that's not how to pronounce it either. Salvage recovery team is clearly not that. And Swan is the OKW player. We have Mr. Philbull? 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 I can't pronounce that. That should be seeming something reasonably able to pronounce, but I simply can't pronounce it either. We do now have three of the players selected their doctrine. We do now have the Storm Doctrine, the Overwatch Doctrine, and the Mobile Assault Regiment. So all three of these players selected doctrine has access to a uh, doctrinal artillery. Also got a Volksgrenadier opener there. We got the Recovery Sapper and Bren Carrier. Recovery Sapper has mounted on up. We've got a Slit Trench here. You'll point up there. Probably going to be pursued by the Bren Carrier. We've got a Soviet Sniper on the build queue. So he's gone for Tier 1. Conscripts into Sniper. Grandma player is going for Standard MG42 and the Grenadiers. Let's see. What doctrine should the... Soviet player I, since there's a lot of indirect fire they could fight against, maybe terror for the precision bombing run. Maybe? Eh, the rest of the auction just is a little bit more of a mixed bag. In level 20, it feels like it performs less than the left 18. I don't know, I do not know why. Maybe because they have a lot less models to shoot at. Conscripts scripts come in groups of six. Grandiers come in groups of four. Which may be the of why. Conscripts do Ura and flank the MG42. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and get around on the side of the MG42 as well. Conscripts need to stand and fight against the pioneers. Conscripts will beat pioneers at close range. Yep, easy win for the conscripts. But they did take a bit of damage there since they're already a bit wounded. And now I've got the Bren carrier taking severe damage. The recover sappers can repair them up. But he needs to smelt this recovery sap as well. They don't have any combat capability in the back of the universal carrier. Recovery sapper is now repairing up the universal carrier. Another intersection here. It's nice and close here. They do have 360 cone of firing inside the slit trench. So there's no flanking it unless you're trying to throw a grenade into entry and exit point. And this Volkskandiers is out of range, so it's actually not contributing to the fight. He's get behind this heavy cover there. Heavy cover is better than garrison cover. Oscar squad does get forced back by a fresh squad of Grenadiers. This M242 has been reinforced as well. Oh, and looks like the sniper took some hits as well. Another squad of conscripts and a comm engineer here. And he does put the M242. Ura? Nope, not enough munitions for Ura. But does get the flank off there. Grand Carrier has been upgraded with the Vickers K and drops those guys right in front of the Volkswagen to get ripped apart. Those like he's focused down the recovery sapper there. Now the Volkswagen is put forward. You can only fit one squad at a time inside the slit trench. Grand Carrier is taking a bit of fire, literally. Oscar's behind some heavy cover here as well. Incomplete bar bar there. You have now spreads of fire from the universe carrier. Intersection push way forward. Another split trench over here. The enemy have destroyed a forward position. Try and go for our slit trench. We've got Shroom Pioneers and Folk Sundiers over here though. So on next to strike. I've one on the universe carrier now. His suppressive fire ability has subsided. This Volksmaneers has taken some damage. This Volksmaneers is still suppressed. Both these guys are coming for a nice flank. Recovery sappers do fall back there. The intersection will need to keep the distance from the, from the Sturm Pioneers and they pop a Panda Shrek at a not a great time. If they would have had that STG up, they could have actually got more damage from that intersection. But I can see why he went from Panda Shrek. Something to engage the Bren Carrier. More suppressive fire activated there. The bridge player is expanding his munitions. Please get it. 
down south we've got the flame wharf or flamethrower straight forward m242 does back on off pioneer says hello we've got conscripts here and here behind some heavy cover there and he has locked in the airborne troop tactics he must really like the airborne guards since he has two doctors that had them available we've also got cheaper landmines very nice Grandier is trying to push 34, overrunning the sniper, but they've taken a bit too much damage there. Entry 42 sitting up here. Not in a great position. He will be able to suppress this conscript squad, but sniper is in range. Up north, we've got the intersections push 34. Stone Pioneers and Volkswagen as you fall back. We do now have the Eagle Infantry getting first strike bonuses. G43 on the way. Down here, we've got the Pioneers pushing the way forward. Sniper. Trying to stop the pioneers. Now he needs to keep his distance. Retreats him back to keep his distance. And we've got the airborne guards infiltrated in, I think, into right there. And I hear a half track here. Being upgraded to a flame and warper. Two giant flame and warpers, or flame projectors. Whatever that is in German. Grandier squad needs to fall back. Conscript steals this. Good chance he will not get the crew. Rifle grenade there. Honestly, maybe a little bit overkill to keep that thing from being captured. Since the flame shakers have been upgraded, he will need to capture that and retreat on back. Eagle Infantry Squad does fall back there. Volks as well. Tommy a little bit warm. Doing a bit of favor here because everything's quite snowy. And now he's being hyper aggressive with this half track. We now got tier 3 being activated or being built. We have. Yes, we do have grenade and Molotov research. Friendly carrier now repaired on up. 55 caliber sniper pull in the field. And he has not picked up. The MG42, he needs to pick it up. Probably going to pick it up with the pioneers. Double 55 caliber sniper on the field. How nasty. Recovery sappers eyeing for a bit of wire there. We do now have the pyrotechnic upgrade as well. You see the. F nope, we don't see the bolster. Press Warren could fall a little bit of damage on these guys. No max on the field as well, so he's playing a little bit dangerous. Folks, deers, and everything's coming for a nice little flank. That could kill off both 55 caliber snipers quite quickly. He can get inside the garrison's bow. 155 caliber sniper does hit the folks and deers. Another one's fans way forward. Eagle Light Infantry gets good damage. We've got the artillery flare here. As long as we maintain vision range, he has a really good uh, scatter right here. And I hear the flame projector is now engaging the flame of flamethrower. Got a quad half track on the field as well. That's unusual. I didn't see the exact moment. Will be a hard counter to the flame projectors, that's for sure. Jaeger, command squad, take a bit of fire and suppression. Smoke grenade there. Flame projectors force fire on the ground there. Or maybe he has an angle. One of the three. Water half track advancing way forward. The Eagle Command Squad still has a has fouls, which is on a separate uh, pull down from the smoke and rifle grenade. And the flame half track should fall back there. The Eagle Command Squad does still need to fall back himself. Our right, Tactical Squad catch there. This guy is needs to back his back off. So the player has a combat engineer way back at home. Recovery Sappers, however, can repair up the quad half track and base and look like it. He's heading towards it. So the sniper fires away. So the Allies right now has three snipers in the field. Entry 42 finds the conscript squad. EP upgrade there on the airborne squad. And now we've got Frendius pushing the way forward. Conscripts do get pinned. Rifle grenade fired. Got a decent hit there. 
I'm gonna go straight and run there from the Hawks, from the uh, airborne squad. Up north, got Puma and all these forces from the core. Puma may be a bit of overaction against the Bren carrier. Panzer II should would have been a better option, honestly. Like seriously, the Puma's far overkilling this. Gets it abandoned. He could actually try capturing it. Sending grenade does come the trench. He is actually going for the claim. He claims a brand here. Of course, has a destroyed engine crit and 55 caliber snipers. 55 caliber snipers are pretty effective against that. He does utilize the repair ability in the Brennan carrier. It's recovery sappers, heat grenade onto the Puma. Eagle infantry advanced way forward. Both 55 caliber snipers still alive. Brennan carrier is feeding up repairs, and both these guys just burst on out of there. Not sure if capturing up the. Oh, got a drop LMG here. That's a bit of an oversight. That was picking up there at the Jaeger Command Squad. Not sure if picking up the Bren Carrier is actually all that useful, but does get sniped. And the Pyrotechnic Squad does fall back. The Spuma, if I remember correctly as well, the aim shot is actually decent against snipers. But then again, you need version C1 for that. Can't, that will take a bit of time. M242 firing away, suppressing some of these squads. Sniper fires away, gets a good shot there on the M242 and does soft retreat away. Needs repairs. We also got a penal squad. Is that going for PTRSs? Possibly. I think a penal PTRS would be a good item at the moment. Help engage that flame half track. Hmm. What else? He has a uh, tier three. His quad half track is dead. He can pull out tier four. He has no feel for that, but when we pull out anything after that, British player has the company command post. Could research hammer anvil, or just save up for Cromwell and or centaur. I see Yigalai Infantry, not sure if he had a uh, scavenge doctrine available, but if there's a good chance you know which doctrine his opponent's going to go for, we see Yigalai Infantry. Because I'm one of the few players actually prefer a scavenge doctrine over Overwatch doctrine for Yigalai Infantry. We're losing a capture point. And of course, I see the Yigalai Command Squad, and the most common doctrine for that is probably uh, Storm Doctrine. But it's hard to say what other doctrine had available. Ooh! Squad knocked out. Those sniper, that sniper got ripped apart by the Eagle Infantry. Artillery on in, next round could be quite deadly. That was running a little bit short. The Eagle Eye Infantry, the scope rifle at maximum range has 1.15% accuracy, so has 115% accuracy. Snipers have a target size of 1.15 as well, so... Even in light cover, it has nearly 100%. The scope armor nearly has 100% accuracy against uh, snipers at long range. Got all these Soviet units pushing me forward. The penal squad has been upgraded with PTRSs. Got another sniper being pulled up by the British. Flame half track getting burned, or not burned, getting plinked by the PTRS. The penal squad is getting set on fire. A uh, shoe mine here. Combat unit ready. Fonz find the shoe mine. And you can get a line ripping apart that conscript. Conscripts make it wiped on out. Does. Does get wiped out there. Brave infantry have made the ultimate sacrifice. 
Yeah, I've got some smoke here from probably from a pyrotechnic squad. He does have five main squads upgraded as well. Playing half track, advancing into the town. Enemy threatening a capture point. Sniper here. Puma. Not officially one just yet. And we'll see a couple. Nope, does not see 55 caliber sniper shots. Got these Tommies pushing the way forward. Do we have these squads as well? Flame half track advancing. Making a great flank here. Burning down to those guys. Getting a little bit of AOE damage. Does get an engine crit ability. Does utilize the critical shot. Got a critical hit. Got the Soviet forces pushing way forward here. Yep. Your command squad fires. Rifle grenades splash the sniper a lot, but does not get the wipe there. The pioneers and your command squad does fall back. Boom advanced way forward. Now has Vetch's one. Now has access to the aim shot ability. Now I can precisely put a 50 millimeter size hold to somebody. SU 76 blood on the field. Probably a good idea to start eyeing towards tier 4. But right now the S-35 will allow him to get someone engaged to Puma. Which could honestly mostly be ignored. Also be able a bit more effectively engage the flame half track. These squads falling back. Puma puts around in that structure. And the sapper is taking the damage there. Section behind the garrison. I thought got wiped out there, but did not. Does fall back. Are they in section any to gun push way forward? Down self as SC76 push way forward. A lot of extra fire there. That must have been from the flame half track. Yeah, command squad push way forward. Volkswagen there is now engaged in the section those force back those folks can beers that's a good hit there Puma falling on back smoke there Conscripts do fall back. We do have now the U Command Squad. I am for the VP. We do have the SU-76 here, which can always bring in the light artillery barrage. Peel squad in the center here. Inside of the British slit trench with the PTRSs. And which that can be a double-edged sword. After all, he's inside a garrison. SU-76 gets a great shot there. It does get flinked down there. The enemy has dealt us a blow. You know, squad quite damage. Trying to take a bit of fire there as well. We do now have MG42 over here as well. Oh, S mines? No. Oh, it was the conscript squad or whatever that squad was retreating back, splashing the Jaeger command squad. That's why I pulled squad wide. That was the penal squad that got wiped out. Good S mine field there. Eagle Infantry advance way forward in large numbers. That sniper gets wiped down out. The British bird has two snipers alive at the moment. We do now have the Firefly being built. Which right now, as much like the Firefly, there's not a whole lot of targets for him. We do have the Burn Bar though. And Red has gone for left 18. No sheer Panzer quarters. Gone for Battle for H2 for healing. And now has left 18 for artillery. 18 gun will get the crew. 
Sapper nice and close, but will be gunned down. And sprints his way forward, eyeing for the snipers. This is the radius of the machine gun bunkers. I don't know if they've actually fired there, but he does fall back either way. The enemy is trying to overrun our HQ. Magenta now has a burn bar on the field. For me, I sort of like the Firefly, and also I'm, I am a big fan of Churchill's. Firefly has a bit more of a reasonable and longer range gun. In addition, you can pull out the Firefly much earlier without needing to get Hammer or Anvil. And plus, the Churchill's a pretty good unit. For the AT, I think the Firefly does generally better. Able just to fire away at long range. Airborne guards do fall back. But right now, there's just simply a lack of targets for it. Uh, let's see. Yellow does have enough fuel to, to go to tier 4. Has a lot of manpower. Yellow is not entirely bad position. He needs to pull out something. Against the Broom Bar, T34 76s will be generally be okay. S85 would be a good hard counter. I think T34 76 would be a little bit better. Both we'll, we'll, we'll provide an infantry support and able to provide mobility and hit the Broom Bar from the side and the rear. Plus, S76s can be quite nice. But of course, you do need a good number of them. Sniper is getting some shots there. Jaeger command squad does fall back. So does the Volkswagen Jaeger line for here. I've got the artillery flare here. The base artillery does do decent damage against friendly in friendly fire. Those do set extra section. Now I've got them sprinting way forward. Now these guys are sprinting their way back. The other retreat button. Against these guys? Yep. He has not deployed out MG this entire game. He does have a land mattress, so maybe I'm hit the Jaeger infantry with the land mattress. After all, you put them on a mattress. I uh, know that's going to be horrible. Trucks trying to make an early grave joke. HQ is under attack. Hackboy does get Molotov. Grandier's just moving forward. We have lost a pack gun. Land mattress firing. Looks like got some decent hits there. The land mattress is already at Vectrancy 1 at 3 kills. I have no idea what he hit that got him so much Vectrancy. How does he have Vectrancy 1 at 3 kills? He must have hit. All, he must got a lot of damage, just little model kills on that on those squads. And Vectrancy 1 will allow for faster reload times, reduced cooldown times. Act 40 does get captured on up, does get some SVTs on his conscript squad. I've got another SWS half track on the field. He's going for his Shira Pan's quarters. And maybe I for a King Tiger. Red has enough fuel. Just needs a bit more manpower. That's his bigger limitation of getting out the King Tiger. Your command squad. It is versus C3 and also has that picked up Elm. Jeez, it's a pretty nice squad there. Grandia is coming for a flank. Argenta does have a bit of munitions bringing for rifle grenades. Think about grenade. <laughs> that, that was a lot weaker than I thought. Quite possibly at this right. Right now, I'm also sort of biased towards uh, T-34 or 76s, a good number of them. And T-34 or 76s can combo quite well with the rocket run. Does the crew the Pack 40 there. And does the crew the Vecana Warfare as well. Quite possibly, honestly. I kind of understand floating munitions with some uh, doctrine choices and faction choices. But there's no real good reason why you're floating manpower. 
Yep. I understand it. I know it's a joke. Got a nice straight and run there. We've got now the sector assault active. One of these players may want to buy a uh, AA gun. Postman is not falling on back. The enemy is determined, and we are down to 300 points. Brumbar looks at the crew the Pack 40, trying to destroy the Pack 40. Grandier is eyeing for a Pence Faust onto the SU-76. He's always eyeing for a light artillery barrage here. M1 or 6 pounder, push me forward. Magenta has taken quite a bit of hits there. Needs a Pioneer. Has quite a bit of resource stockpiled up himself. He can go for another Brum Bar. I do love Brum Bars. Pair of Pioneers on the build queue. I say cancel one Pioneer and then I deploy something else in the meantime. Left 18's fire setting on up, trying to find a barrage. Maybe I am SU 76. Thank you for the follow. You know nothing. You. I keep having trouble. You know nothing, J JS now. Sorry, I butchered your name. Push it up so enough so it can be put on somebody's plate and eat it. Oh, Jon Snow. Ah. I. Completely, that's completely skipped over my head. I actually never seen Games of Thrones. Uh, Game of Thrones, blah. I can't speak right now. I just remember that from old extra credits uh, joke. Okay, ed extra credits back when they were actually decent and not gone a bit woke style writing. Folks and is engaging, got the snipers firing away. Rumbar bar straight forward. S1 dash four is the best. I'm not familiar with that. My apologies. Grand ears or console can take some damage there. Brum bar is falling back. Bet three SU 76s can do quite well. Ah. I have never watched any of the Games of Thrones stuff. I probably should. But then again, there's a lot of things people say I should watch. Like, uh, Godfather. Never watched that either. I haven't actually sat down and watched TV in actually a couple years now. Why watch TV when you play games? Got now the Yeager Light Infantry taking severe damage. Those men fall back. The others do sprint their way forward. Make a good use of the sprint ability, that's for sure. Does inside the sludge trench there. Of course, it's unfetted. Might as well, heavy cover is better than garrison cover. Puma trying to eye for some shots there onto the land mattress. Uh, if you want to send one to me through a DM, that would be great. I'll probably cover it tomorrow because it's following my last uh, replay for tonight. I'm getting a little bit mind melted. I've been exhausted today. Getting out of the assault guards straight forward. Is that a bunker buster? Nope, not a bunker buster. As Fowls fires, let's get a good hit on the SU 76. Great hit there onto the airborne guards. Burn bar to the second hit there. Yep, let's just say if somebody says something is popular, I don't really care for it. I make my own determinations. Still does take a good shot there. It's the same as six. Slowly backing off for Cedar Pants Fouls. And, well, and another Pants Fouls does take it off. Yellow's losing quite a bit there. It's, has consumed all his fuel on something. S25, that's going to be a good item at this moment. Still looks well to have a weird option right now by Magenta. He has plenty of fuel, so why is Shook? Shook's a good and all, but could have gone for a Panther. Yeah. 
Crossbar, bar, straightforward whoosh, dug. We does have S55 now put on field. Firefly is actually a bit wounded here. Burnbar controls the fire for the Stug. Burnbar does take some hits there, and the Stug cracks them off as well. Both of them a little bit too wounded to dance. Has two pioneers for repairs. Uh, firing a barrage where I'm not sure oh is he firing where is that barrage oh barrage is right there getting, trying to hit the med bunker nothing else is here getting a lot of S mines which is actually a decent odd thing to hit left 18 not getting hit at the moment both players have bought out left 18 both of them are one you line for tree engaging folks can do some fancy does get a full squad right attack. there. Typical enemy trick, isn't One it? sniper left on the field, and the my mattress is garage in this general region. Firefly see the Panzer House from the Folks Grandiers. Looks like the Puma does hit there. King Tiger to float on out. First way forward. Another Firefly could be very useful enough to go from the Sniper. I said this for that. He needs to spend that manpower onto another Firefly. Got the Artillery Barrage running in, but does advance up beyond it. Artillery Barrage is back here as well. The enemy is trying to overrun our HQ. He tag has received no damage at the moment. Rolls another miss there. The squad's gone. And there goes the Firefly. Okay, 200 points remaining. May take some damage upon her tree, but nothing too significant. Burn bar here, versus C2, and does keep the airborne guards away. A crit triple capture there in favor of the Oak W player. Good splash hit there. Got a good hit there on the Sturm Panzer. SP5 does find a round there. Good there on the brown bar. The bunker is now a command center. Reinforcements are available. Second left 18 deployed on the field for some odd reason. Does have now a reinforcement bunker here as well as the med bunker. You anti-tank, our opponents are seizing a sector. Left 18, the British base. British base is being repaired on up as well. Left 18 here, running a little bit far. MG42 firing away against the airborne guards. And now the Jaeger Command Squad get nice and close. Oh, the Jaeger Command Squad lost their uh, LMG. They must have dropped it somewhere. Pretty easy item to drop when you have so many slot items. Jaeger Lancery sprinting their way forward. And now got the main matches running a little bit short, trying to hit those Jaeger Lion Petries. It's just doing a great job with the Jaeger Lion Tree not getting hit by that land mattress. Magenta almost or almost had enough munitions for a super dive bomb, but just some munitions there. Dropped a LMG, so that's where another LMG was. Jabraj onto the Jaeger Lion Tree, splashing them a little bit. We do have some plane munitions for the rocket run, and might as well bring it in and release. This squad may get wiped on out. Katusha trying to hit the S-55 or Katusha. Smokes out, and the airborne squad does escape on out there. Entry the forward to suppresses down those grenadiers. Do 
Vega Command Squad. Let's get a pen spell off. S25 Cripple. And also, we'll take out the AT gun. Rumbar advancing. Sniper hit there. Another Firefly. British player does have initials to expend. Maybe going for Tulips wouldn't be half bad. AT gun does get to crew. Let's a pack forward trying to destroy the AT gun. Airborne guards flank the half gun. Let's get a grenade onto it. Get some good damage there. He may get wiped out by the Brum bar. Almost did. Central VP being captured. Right now, the allies have down to 65 tickets. Good hit there by the Firefly. Doesn't have efficiency one, so can't get the crit shot. Our Titan squad does get out of the slip trench. Grandier is engaging the airborne squads. Mashes barrage there. These guys are sprinting their way forward now. Alright, take the squad. Versus one, versus two now. Grind does take out the sniper there. Well, this map is from Live Games Wallaby, so this may be your game. Check the player names. <laughs> we do now have these. Gagline yeah, Tree could have got crushed there. I don't know why I was thinking crush. King Tiger. See the miss there. King Tiger pursuing. Puma here. Puma has versus C2, which means versus 1 ability. Got the MG42 mortar falling back. Or mortar should be falling back. New command squad. That's a fresh one. Firefly takes severe damage. There goes the Firefly. The enemy destroyed a vehicle. Eagle infantry moving around and looks like the allies do surrender. It's Angrade saying, thank you for watching and on to the next replay.